It's a goose foot. Oh dear God. Hey, this is Gabrielle Union. And Jessica Alba. Now we are here with Men's Health. And what are we doing, Gab? We're either going to eat disgustingly healthy food or... Answer a dare or a question or something. Or something. Or something, let's see. First course, beverages. Usually our favorite. <laughs> it usually is. All right, let's see. Kopi Luwak coffee, also known as cat poo coffee. Is that what it says? Mm-hmm. Okay. Coffee beans eaten and pooped out by the Asian palm kivet cat. Okay, so the question is, you play a cop on TV. You have to do an annual review at work for these other TV cops. Rank them from best to worst. Oh, I'll answer this. I mean, I'm definitely not eating poop coffee ever in my life. You don't want to smell it? I mean, smell the poop, Jess. Smell that shit. Literally, smell that shit. Smells like coffee. Less like shit. Less like poopies. I just don't like cats. So like, you lost me at cat. From best to worst, Donnie Wahlberg, Ice T, Andy Samberg, Mariska Hargate. Mariska Hargate. She's a babe and she's super smart and I would say that she is the top. Next, Ice T, just because uh, I just think it's funny. Donnie Wahlberg, because I used to like New Kids on the Block. Andy Samberg on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Sorry, Andy, you're at the bottom. Mm. You play a cop on TV. From this list of your former co-stars, tell us who in your cop car gets to ride shotgun, who has to sit in the back, and who gets the trunk. My options are Kirsten Dunst, Kevin Hart, and Beyonce or drink the cat poop coffee. <laughs> That's too easy, let's, let's. There's been worse things in my mouth. Oh. It's fine. It tastes like coffee. Oh, that like hurt my spine. And you'll never know who I would have stuck in the trunk. <laughs> this is a cricket taco. I think I'm getting hot. Please rank these other amazing Jessicas from favorite to least favorite. Or... Oh, that really looks like crickets, dude. Those are f***ing crickets. I can't get down. Here's the thing. I don't like crickets. I don't like cats. I don't like rodents. I don't like any amphibian. I'm not into insects. Hate birds. It can live in nature. Not around me. I will not be eating this ever. Unless I had copious amounts of tequila and I don't really know what I'm eating. Which is not me right now. So I'm gonna say, gosh, this is really rude. I like everyone. <sighs> You're just like starting some stuff with me because you know I can't eat this. Oh dear God. Sarah Jessica Parker, Jessica Beale, Jessica Simpson, Jessica Chastain. I like them all, but Jesus. So Jessica Simpson is married to a guy named Eric that my husband went to college with. So I've actually spent a lot of time with Simpson. She has built a billion plus dollar brand, sort of quietly, which I think is super cool. Sarah Jessica Parker, recently posted on Instagram a fake National Enquirer tabloid about how her and her husband are having problems and had a fight and bup, bup, bup. She's like, we've been together for 27 years, been married for 22 years, happily. I really appreciate that she said that, so she's gonna be number two. Jessica Beal, I have known since we were 11 or 12. When she came out for her first pilot season, she actually lived in an, our apartment in Burbank with my dad and my brother her and her mom. She auditioned and I'm pretty sure she got work because look at her now. So she'll be number three. And the only reason why Jessica Chastain is last is because I don't know her. That's it. But they're all great. It's very diplomatic. <laughs> all right, I got uh, worm taco. <sighs> yep. I can't even look at it. Yep. I actually a, can't. That's, a, that's absolutely a worm taco. No, I can't um, look at it. Okay. Would you rather be retweeted by the president or unfollowed by Hillary Clinton? 
Okay, obviously, I'm not gonna eat warm tacos. So, Hillary, okay, unfollow me. Jellied chicken. <laughs> Jellied chicken. Three of your former co-stars get busted on your watch. Who do you break out and why? Chris Evans, Robert De Niro, or Jason Statham? I mean, I could try the jelly. I'm gonna get into this because I feel like I'm probably <laughs> not gonna- try to dig that chicken out of that gelatin. <laughs> 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 you gotta get that gelatin in there. I mean, it tastes like cold chicken. Like, you know the chicken that you leave in the fridge and it gets that jelly? That's all it is. Okay, uh, jelly pork. You've played a cheerleader and you've worked with DMX. Do an impression of DMX doing a cheer. So there was this cheer that we used to, I was a cheerleader in eighth grade. Uh, DMX, he'd be like, what up, get? It's your boy X. Get it together, boys. Get it together. G-E-T-I-T-T-O-T-E-G-H-E-R. That's what it is. It was good. Ah. There you go. I'm not going to eat jelly pork. <laughs> Goose web. It was actually a goose web foot. It's a goose foot? Oh dear God. That's a goose foot. Does it With nails. Like, does it taste like chicken? Of your fellow Hollywood entrepreneurs, rank from favorite to least favorite brands. Oh Jesus, this is fucked up. Kylie Jenner Cosmetics, Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop, or Rihanna's Fenty line. Or this? Would you get in there? Oh, I would just answer the question. Oh, God. I mean, there's joints. Like, you can see, like, where it's like. It's the little piece of broccoli that I find the most offensive. I mean, do they, do people just eat the skin? I think you just kind of like a drumstick. <laughs> Wait, is that its heel? Is that the goose heel that she's getting into right now? I think it's right the now? Achilles. <laughs> I think I just. Popped the Achilles. I'm gonna smell it. It's just, I just can't get down with this. <sighs> I'm just having a hard time. <laughs> so, I can't do it, I can't do it. I'm gonna say, as a consumer, how I view these brands. Gwyneth Paltrow is an amazing curator of beautiful things and experiences. Kylie Jenner, Kris Jenner, is an incredible business mind, and she That's has- the mama. I know, but I Chris is behind all of her girls, and I can't not thank Chris for being such an incredible business person. For what about Kylie? I don't know her personally, <laughs> other than she's really young and she's a mom, and she has a great relationship with her family, and I think that's really important. And, um... Have you tried a lip kit? I haven't tried a lip kit. Okay. And Rihanna, I mean, she's a force to be reckoned with. She's incredible. Uh, she's a fashion icon. But if you have to choose one and you're shopping in a market, what do you grab? So... She'd grab Kris Jenner, she told you! <laughs> <laughs> I'd, grab, I'd grab Kris Jenner. <laughs> All right, so what do we got? Um, Jesus. Chicken feet. Okay. Who are you most likely to win a Twitter beef with? Azalea Banks, 50 Cent, Jim Carrey. Or I can eat chicken feet. All right, well, I'm not gonna eat chicken feet. So, uh, some people go the extra mile with their Twitter beefs. Uh, Jim Carrey doesn't, so Jim Carrey. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for this lovely experience. Funny enough, uh, the least uh, offensive thing uh, is the 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 cat poop is coffee. the cat poop coffee? Yeah, because it just tastes like coffee. At least offensive, I would say the jellied chicken because it's literally just cold chicken. Most offensive, I mean, I couldn't get down with those worm worms, thing? the worms yeah, the and worm, the crickets. The worm taco. Yeah, the, the cricket taco. I mean, we're taco aficionados, so to really defile. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tacos in this way. <laughs> We're just not used to that type of cuisine. I mean, I'm, I'm, there are many cultures that really like it and, and you know. You know what, you know what culture doesn't like it? Black people culture. <laughs> uh, we just don't. Now the chicken feet, that is part of it. That's part of us. I don't do it. <laughs>